This is Charles Kao with Travel Mall TV uh, at Focus Ride in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, with Gordon Wilson, who is the CEO of Travelport. Good, good morning. Morning, Charlie. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. And what's been the latest since we last saw each other in April? Well, the latest has been really sort of an acceleration of our product deployment and the, the new products that we've put out into, into market, which are um, a real cornucopia, actually, of, of improved products to book hotels with. We, we uh, as you know, launched our Rooms and More products, and that's now got 340,000 hotel properties, about 900,000 offers, um, and is going great guns around the world. Very excited about that. Um, our desktop products, not only universal desktop, but also smart points, and there'll be a new version of uh, Worldspan Go, a smart point version of that for our Worldspan users coming out at the end of this year. Um, so very excited about that. In fact, over 70% of our customers around the world now are operating on a new desktop version. Oh, wow. um, so that's been a huge um, rollout and a huge you know, um, success for the, for the business um, uh, so far. Uh, we continue to um, innovate and develop capabilities with airlines to enable them to sell their products the way they wish to in, in regard to ancillary products and the like. Um, I think everybody knows about what we've done with Air Canada, you know, being the only GDS to have all of the Air Canada content available and bookable through one integrated uh, desktop experience, uh, which again is, is very exciting. And we're adding some new capability with them um, low-cost airlines and EasyJet will be the first one to go live, whereby for the first time ever, all of their content will be fully integrated into the standard GDS screen to the combination of our our API technology with our existing GDS uh, capability but into a one cohesive whole and that will roll out at the end of, uh, of this year. So we've been pretty busy. EasyJet, didn't know that, that's exciting. Inventory and all, not the, in not the old Southwest, no inventory. No, it's, uh, the, the whole kit and caboodle, um, including all the EasyJet ancillary uh, products as well. Mm -hmm. So, because um, now they do um, seat assignments and the like, which is a new product for them, that will also be part and parcel then of this. Let's see, I think you rolled out your API uh, this time two years ago. That's right. And um, what's been the growth in terms of partners that you've added? Oh, quite exponential. I mean, we've we've now got um, I think it's it's more than 150 you know development partners who have actually who have actually written applications uh, to the uh, new a new UAPI Universal API. Uh, we have many more who are who are in the process of, of writing. Of course, one of the reasons of being able to show like Focus Right is the developer community here is uh, is enormous um, with people doing new things and new apps etc. Where they need rich you know content which is standardised where they can write to one uh, API set and get all of the content both in our GDS and also the content that we in turn get through APIs out into airlines and hoteliers etc. So the big news for our developer community is that we've now got all of our rooms and more content, all of those 340,000 hotels are now also available through our UAPI set. And um, so again right into one API with Travelport a developer can get to a myriad of hotel content as well as all the air, all the car hire, rail etc that have that already been there. Well it sounds very techy for the user, it's all transparent, is it? For the, for the end user, it's end user. transparent. For the technology user, it's actually, it is techy, but it's techy in a structured um, way. Simple, which makes it a whole lot simpler. To, uh, to operate, yeah. A friend of mine uh, just announced a partnership uh, uh, on Monday uh, with uh, uh, niche content for adventure travel. It was right. Adventure Link and, and uh, announced uh, with Travelport that uh, the content will be available oh, great. to one of the API. Is niche, is there a whole lot of niche content on oh, Travelport? Yeah. I mean, this, this, um, this big long tail uh, concept that everybody is going for, you know, through a combination of, we bought a meta search company, which is based out of Strasbourg, called Sprice. So we can meta search content in and then put it up through our UAPI. Mm. And that, that addresses the long tail, whether it's limo services, it's you know, activity um, uh, capabilities, you name it, as long as we can get to it, even through screen scrape if we have to, it's not our preferred course, but if we have to, we can then pipe it up to our UAPI and then third parties can get to it and, uh, and make it bookable in their, in their sites to consumers and the like. In addition to the, uh, some of the features, rich features, uh, new ones that you just mentioned, if I'm a mid-sized travel agent, uh, out shopping now for GDS, why would I select Travelport versus Amadeus or Sabre? 
You know, I think when, when you're looking at um, selecting a GDS, um, you can look at the here and now, you know, and frankly I'd hold up Travelport against any of our competitors from a here and now, from our search and our shopping, the content that we've got, um, the, de the work, start, the work um, stations, the point of sale capabilities, the support that we provide. But that's not why you choose a GDS, because um, you execute a long-term contract with the GDS. What you have to select a GDS is where the GDS is going. Do you share the vision? Do you share the same principles? Do you share the same ethos as to where the market is going? And are you going to pin your, your, your mast, if you like, to the boat of that GDS because of, you agree where it's going? And I think that Travelport's vision, and we've seen this recently, we just signed a big account in the United Kingdom, Hayes Travel. Hayes. Um, and you know, they selected us over one of our competitors because the vision that we have marries with their vision of where mm. the industry is going. And that's what the really important thing is. Gordon Wilson, CEO, Travelport. Thank you very much, Gordon. Only a pleasure.